been iPhone worthy. I just needed to make some money in order to get the iPhone. I got my iPhone a year ago for $500 on the first day it came out. Some people call me an early adopter. Some people call me other things. You're a premature adopter. <laughs> I'm a premature adopter. That's right. Anyway, now it won't dial zero and the volume is permanently stuck on high. I can't dial any of my friends, basically, who have zero in their phone number, but I can't get a new 3G phone because of the line behind me. Who are these people sneaking around the building? Sure, they can wait in line, exasperation notwithstanding. But are they iPhone worthy? Yes, of course I'm iPhone worthy. I've only been waiting two years now. Two years and three hours of my life. When I could be programming the MMS for this iPhone. This is what in literature is called a protagonist. A prototype, if you will. So did you get the original? Do you have an iPhone now? No. So you think you can handle the iPhone? I'm pretty damn computer illiterate. Uh, computer smart, savvy, so yeah, I think so. It's just another product. Newbie, but clearly unworthy of his place in line. It's a BlackBerry phone. It looks like it's for 1989. Uh, 86 actually, but close enough. And you think you deserve an iPhone? I sure want him. I don't know if I deserve it. He is quite possibly the most deserving in this line today. I bought this chair originally uh, last year. So I was in line. I gotta move up. Uh, I was in line on uh, on the opening day, but I had to get out because I had a, a dinner with a friend of mine. Couldn't miss it, you know. What do you think of all these people that don't have the original iPhones? Do you think they're iPhone worthy now? Because you spent the original. <laughs> the original money. I think it's great. Um, I think the more iPhones the better, you know. I want to have a really strong software platform for the iPhone. And it has so many sensors on it. It's got a, you know, it's got a microphone, it's got an accelerometer, it's got a it's GPS. Got a it's got an accelerometer. It knows how it's moving in the world. This man will quite likely one day run Apple. I asked this man what he would title a movie about the iPhone 3G launch. Torture. How the phone company tortured people. You think this is all about oh, torture? Of course torture, yeah. Can't you tell? I've been online the last three days. I don't know if it's any more worth that, but I want to take it just, just, just to get it, just to say I got it, you know? Just, just to get it. I really don't need it. I'll probably never use it anyway. Points for line dedication, but my current iPhone is broken and he is not helping. So you're waiting in line just to get the old iPhone? Yeah, basically. Well, I'm accompanying my, 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 my brother here. But also taking up line space. And the old iPhone? That's like standing in line to get Vista. But this is an Apple world, and these are trying times. Apple stores know this, and we're kind enough to pass out black Apple-branded umbrellas for line waiters. I think there's a verse in Revelation about this. With all the 3G is supposed to do, and all that it still doesn't, there's one thing it clearly needs to do. How many miles to the gallon do you get on this iPhone? <laughs> Still, with the seven horses of the apocalypse coming, it's nice to know we can still bow at the altar of Apple for our diversion, even if they don't work and we can't get one. After all, Steve, like Eve, tempted us with the apple. But where's the snake?